forward slash donate. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. On behalf of the listener, the author and myself, I would like to make a prayer to the most merciful to send his most choicest blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad, his family and his companions in abundance, God willing, Amin. The following is a reading of the article entitled Life's Lessons, an exegesis of chapter number 20 of the Quran by Sheikh Yahya Ibrahim. This article was first posted on the Sheikh's Facebook page as well as on the website entitled Muslim Matters on December the 10th, 2012. Please note that I am unable to pronounce some Arabic words and hence you will hear a strange pronunciation of that word. Moving on. The Quran is not a storybook of wondrous tales and ancient fables isolated from the realities and complexities of real life. Each verse, in fact, each letter is miraculously endowed with precision of meaning, succinctness of message and purity of sound. The life lessons that can be taken from any chapter in the Quran are amazing, but chapter number 20 in particular is unique in this regard. The 20th chapter of the Quran chronicles the life of Prophet Moses. Commentators have pointed out that apart from the following two verses, which are short references to Prophet Moses appearing in the earlier chapters of the Quran, they are chapter number 53, verse 36 and chapter 87, verse 19. Am lam yunabba' bima fi suhufi Musa. Or has he not been informed of what was in the scriptures of Moses? The scriptures of Abraham and Moses. The narrative appearing in chapter number 20, verse 9 through 98, are undoubtedly the earliest Quranic exposition of the story of Prophet Moses. They are as follows. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. And has the story of Moses reached you? When he saw a fire and said to his family, Stay here. Indeed, I have perceived a fire. Perhaps I can bring you a torch or find at the fire some guidance. And when he came to it, he was called, O Moses. Indeed, I am your Lord, so remove your sandals. Indeed, you are in the sacred valley of Duwa. And I have chosen you, so listen to what is revealed to you. Indeed, I am Allah. There is no deity except me. So worship me and establish prayer for my remembrance. Indeed, the hour is coming. I almost conceal it so that every soul may be recompensed according to that for which it strives. So 
So do not let one avert you from it who does not believe in it and follows his desire, for you then would perish. وَمَا تِلْكَ بِيَمِينِكَ يَا مُوسَىٰ And what is that in your right hand, O Moses? قَالَ هِيَ عَصَايَ أَتَوَكَّهُ عَلَيْهَا وَأَهُشُّ بِهَا عَلَىٰ غَنَمِي وَلِيَ فِيهَا مَآرِبُ أُخْرَىٰ He said, It is my staff, I lean upon it, and I bring down leaves for my sheep, and I have therein other uses. قَالَ أَلْقِهَا يَا مُوسَىٰ Allah said, Throw it down, O Moses. فَأَلْقَاهَا فَإِذَا هِيَ حَيَّةٌ تَسْعَىٰ So he threw it down, and thereupon it was a snake moving swiftly. قَالَ خُذْهَا وَلَا تَخَفْ سَنُعِيدُهَا سِيرَتَهَا الْأُولَىٰ Allah said, Seize it and fear not. We will return it to its former condition. And draw in your hand to your side. It will come out white without disease, another sign. لِنُرِيَكَ مِنْ آيَاتِنَا الْكُبْرَىٰ That we may show you some of our greater signs. اذْهَبْ إِلَىٰ فِرْعَوْنَ إِنَّهُ طَغَىٰ Go to Pharaoh. Indeed, he has transgressed. قَالَ رَبِّ شْرَحْ لِي صَدْرِي Moses said, My Lord, expand for me my breast with assurance. وَيَسِّرْ لِي أَمْرِي And ease for me my task. وَحْلُلْ عُقْدَةً مِّن لِسَانِي And untie the knot from my tongue. يَفْقَهُ قَوْلِي That they may understand my speech. وَجَعَلْ لِي وَزِيرًا مِّنْ أَهْلِي And appoint for me a minister from my family. هارون أخي Aaron, my brother أشدد به أزري Increase through him my strength وأشركه في أمري And let him share my task كي نسبحك كثيرا That we may exalt you much ونذكرك كثيرا and remember you much. Indeed, you are of us ever seeing. Allah said, You have been granted your request, O Moses. And we had already conferred favor upon you another time. When we inspired to your mother what we inspired. Saying, cast him into the chest and cast it into the river, and the river will throw it onto the bank. There will take him an enemy to me and an enemy to him, and I bestowed upon you love from me, that you would be brought up under my eye. إِذْ تَمْشِي أُخْتُكَ فَتَقُولُ هَلْ أَدُلُّكُمْ عَلَى مَنْ يَكْفُلُهُ فَرَجَعْنَاكَ إِلَىٰ أُمِّكَ كَيْ تَقَرَّ عَيْنُهَا وَلَا تَحْزَنْ وَقَتَلْتَ نَفْسًا فَنَجَّيْنَاكَ مِنَ الْغَمِّ وَفَتَنَّاكَ فُتُونًا 
فَلَبِثْتَ سِنِينَ فِي أَهْلِ مَدْيَنَ ثُمَّ جِئْتَ عَلَى قَدْرِي يَا مُوسَى And we favored you when your sister went and said, Shall I direct you to someone who will be responsible for him? So we restored you to your mother that she might be content and not grieve. And you killed someone, but we saved you from retaliation and tried you with a severe trial. And you remained some years among the people of Madian. Then you came here at the decreed time, O Moses. And I produced you for myself. Go, you and your brother, with my signs, and do not slacken in my remembrance. Go, both of you, to Pharaoh. Indeed, he has transgressed. فَقُولَا لَهُ قَوْلَ اللَّيْنَ لَعَلَّهُ يَتَذَكَّرُ أَوْ يَخْشَى And speak to him with gentle speech that perhaps he may be reminded or fear Allah. قَالَا رَبَّنَا إِنَّنَا نَخَافُ أَنْ يَفْرُطَ عَلَيْنَا أَوْ أَنْ يَطَغَى They said, Our Lord, Indeed, we are afraid that he will hasten punishment against us, or that he will transgress. Allah said, Fear not. Indeed, I am with you both. I hear and I see. So go to him and say, Indeed, we are messengers of your Lord. So send with us the children of Israel and do not torment them. We have come to you with a sign from your Lord and peace will be upon he who follows the guidance. Indeed, it has been revealed to us that the punishment will be upon whoever denies and turns away. Pharaoh said, So who is the Lord of you two, O Moses? He said, Our Lord is he who gave each thing its form and then guided it. قَالَ فَمَا بَالُ الْقُرُونِ الْأُولَى Pharaoh said, Then what is the case of the former generations? قَالَ عِلْمُهَا عِنْدَ رَبِّي فِي كِتَابِ لَا يَضِلُّ رَبِّي وَلَا يَنْسَى Moses said, The knowledge thereof is with my Lord in a record. My Lord neither errs nor forgets. It is he who has made for you the earth as a bed spread out and inserted therein for you roadways and sent down from the sky rain and produced thereby categories of various plants. (laughs) 
eat therefrom and pasture your livestock. Indeed, in that are signs for those of intelligence. منها خلقناكم وفيها نعيدكم ومنها نخرجكم ومنها نخرجكم تارة أخرى. From the earth we created you, and into it we will return you, and from it we will extract you another time. ولقد أريناه آياتنا كلها فكذب وأبى. And we certainly showed Pharaoh our signs, all of them, but he denied and refused. He said, Have you come to us to drive us out of our land with your magic, O Moses? فَجَعَلْ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكَ مَوْعِدًا لَا نُخْلِفُهُ نَحْنُ وَلَا أَنْتَ مَكَانًا سُوَى Then we will surely bring you magic like it. So make between us and you an appointment, which we will not fail to keep, and neither will you, in a place assigned. قَالَ مَوْعِدُكُمْ يَوْمُ الزِّينَةِ وَأَنْ يُحْشَرَ النَّاسُ ضُحَا Moses said, Your appointment is on the day of the festival when the people assemble at mid-morning. فَتَوَلَّى فِرْعَوْنُ فَجَمَعَ كَيْدَهُ ثُمَّ أَتَى So Pharaoh went away, put together his plan, and then came to Moses. قَالَ لَهُمْ مُوسَى وَيْلَكُمْ لَا تَفْتَرُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا فَيُسْحِتَكُمْ بِعَذَابٍ وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنِ افْتَرَى Moses said to the magician summoned by Pharaoh, Woe to you! Do not invent a lie against Allah, or he will exterminate you with a punishment. And he has failed to invent such falsehood. So they disputed over their affair among themselves and concealed their private conversation. يريدان أن يخرجاكم من أرضكم بسحرهما ويذهبا بطريقتكم المثلى. They said, Indeed, these are two magicians who want to drive you out of your land with their magic and do away with your most exemplary way. فأجمعوا كيدكم ثم أتوا صفا وقد أفلح اليوم من استعلى. So resolve upon your plan and then come forward in line. And he has succeeded today who overcomes. قالوا يا موسى إما أن تلقي وإما أن they said, O oh Moses, either you throw or we will be the first to throw. He said, Rather you throw. And suddenly their ropes and staffs seemed to him from their magic that they were moving like snakes. And he sensed within himself apprehension, did Moses. Allah said, Fear not, indeed, it is you who are superior. وَأَلْقِ مَا فِي يَمِينِكَ تَلْقَفْ مَا صَنَعُوا إِنَّمَا صَنَعُوا كَيْدُ سَاحِرٍ وَلَا يُفْلِحُ السَّاحِرُ حَيْثُ أَتَى And throw what is in your right hand. It will swallow up what they have crafted. 
What they have crafted is but the trick of a magician, and the magician will not succeed wherever he is. فَأُلْقِيَ السَّحَرَةُ سُجَّدًا قَالُوا آمَنَّا بِرَبِّ هَارُونَ وَمُوسَى So the magicians fell down in prostration. They said, We have believed in the Lord of Aaron and Moses. قَالَ آمَنْتُمْ لَهُ قَبْلَ أَنْ آذَنَ لَكُمْ إِنَّهُ لَكَبِيرُكُمُ الَّذِي عَلَّمَكُمُ السِّحْرِ فَلَأُقَطِّعَنَّ أَيْدِيَكُمْ وَأَرْجُلَكُمْ مِنْ خِلَافٍ وَلَأُصَلِّبَنَّكُمْ فِي جُذُوعِ النَّخْلِ وَلَتَعْلَمُنَّ Pharaoh said, You believed him before I gave you permission. Indeed, he is your leader who has taught you magic. So I will surely cut off your hands and your feet on opposite sides, and I will crucify you on the trunks of palm trees. And you will surely know which of us is more severe in giving punishment and more enduring. They said, Never will we prefer you over what has come to us of clear proofs and over he who created us. So decree whatever you are to decree. You can only decree for this worldly life. <laughs> Indeed, we have believed in our Lord that he may forgive us our sins and what you compelled us to do of magic. And Allah is better and more enduring. إِنَّهُ مَنْ يَأْتِ رَبَّهُ مُجْرِمًا فَإِنَّ لَهُ جَهَنَّمَ لَا يَمُوتُ فِيهَا وَلَا يَحْيَا Indeed, whoever comes to his Lord as a criminal, indeed, for him is hell. He will neither die therein nor live. وَمَنْ يَأْتِهِ مُؤْمِنًا قَدْ عَمِلَ الصَّالِحَاتِ فَأُولَئِكَ لَهُمُ الدَّرَجَاتُ الْعُلَى But whoever comes to him as a believer having done righteous deeds, for those will be the highest degrees in position. جَنَّاتُ عَدْنٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا وَذَلِكَ جَزَاءُ مَنْ تَزَكَّى Gardens of perpetual residence beneath which rivers flow wherein they abide eternally and that is the reward of one who purifies himself وَلَقَدْ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى مُوسَىٰ أَنْ أَسْرِ بِعِبَادِي فَاضْرِبْ لَهُمْ طَرِيقًا فَاضْرِبْ لَهُمْ طَرِيقًا فِي الْبَحْرِ يَبَسًا لَا تَخَافُ دَرَكًا وَلَا تَخْشَىٰ And we had inspired to Moses, Travel by night with my servants, and strike for them a dry path through the sea. You will not fear being overtaken by Pharaoh, nor be afraid of drowning. So Pharaoh pursued them with his soldiers, and there covered them from the sea that which covered them. And Pharaoh led his people astray and did not guide them. 
يا بني إسرائيل قد أنجيناكم من عدوكم ووعدناكم جانب الطور الأيمن ونزلنا ونزلنا عليكم المن والسلوى O children of Israel, we delivered you from your enemy and we made an appointment with you at the right side of the mount and we sent down to you manna and quails. كُلُوا مِن طَيِّبَاتِ مَا رَزَقْنَاكُمْ وَلَا تَطَغَوْا فِيهِ فَيَحِلَّ عَلَيْكُمْ غَضَبِي وَمَنْ يَحْلِلْ عَلَيْهِ غَضَبِي فَقَدْ هَوَى Saying, eat from the good things with which we have provided you and do not transgress or oppress others therein lest my anger should descend upon you and he upon whom my anger descends has certainly fallen. But indeed, I am the perpetual forgiver of whoever repents and believes and does righteousness and then continues in guidance. وَمَا أَعْجَلَكَ عَنْ قَوْمِكَ يَا مُوسَى Allah said, And what made you hasten from your people, O Moses? قَالَ هُمْ أُولَاءِ عَلَىٰ أَثَرِي وَعَجِلْتُ إِلَيْكَ رَبِّ لِتَرْضَى He said, They are close upon my tracks, and I hasten to you, my Lord, that you be pleased. قال فإنا قد فتنا قومك من بعدك وأضلهم السامري. Allah said, but indeed we have tried your people after you departed, and the Samiri has led them astray. فرجع موسى إلى قومه غبان أسفا. قال يا قوم ألم يعدكم ربكم وعدا حسنا أفطال عليكم العهد أم أردتم أن يحل عليكم غضب من ربكم فأخلفتم موعدي So Moses returned to his people angry and grieved He said O oh my people did your Lord not make you a good promise then was the time of its fulfillment too long for you? Or did you wish that wrath from your Lord descend upon you? So you broke your promise of obedience to me. قالوا ما أخلفنا موعدك بملكنا ولكننا حملنا ولكننا حملنا أوزارا من زينة القوم فقذفناها فقذفناها فكذلك ألقى السامري. They said. We did not break our promise to you by our will, but we were made to carry burdens from the ornaments of the people of Pharaoh. So we threw them into the fire, and thus did the Samiri throw. And he extracted for them the statue of a calf, which had a lowing sound. And they said, This is your God and the God of Moses, but he forgot. Did they not see that it could not return to them any speech? and that it did not possess for them any harm or benefit? And Aaron had already told them before the return of Moses, O oh my people, 
you are only being tested by it. And indeed, your Lord is the most merciful. So follow me and obey my order. قالوا لن نبرح عليه عاكفين حتى يرجع إلينا موسى. They said, we will never cease being devoted to the calf until Moses returns to us. قال يا هارون ما منعك إذ رأيتهم ضلوا. Moses said, O oh Aaron, what prevented you when you saw them going astray? ألا تتبعني أفعصيت أمري From following me Then have you disobeyed my order? قال يا ابن أم لا تأخذ بلحيتي ولا برأسي إني خشيت أن تقول فرقت بين بني إسرائيل ولم ترقب قولي Aaron said, O son of my mother, do not seize me by my beard or by my head. Indeed, I feared that you would say, you caused division among the children of Israel, and you did not observe or await my word. قال فما خطبك يا سامري Moses said and what is your case O Samiri قال بصرت بما لم يبصروا به فقبضت قبضة من أثر الرسول فنبذتها فنبذتها وكذلك سولت لي نفسي He said I saw what they did not see, so I took a handful of dust from the track of the messenger and threw it, and thus did my soul entice me. وانظر إلى إلهك الذي ظلت عليه عاكفا لنحرقنه ثم لننسفنه في اليم نسفا Moses said, Then go. And indeed, it is decreed for you in this life to say, No contact. And indeed, you have an appointment in the hereafter you will not fail to keep. And look at your God, to which you remain devoted. We will surely burn it and blow it into the sea with a blast. <laughs> Your God is only Allah, except for whom there is no deity. He has encompassed all things in knowledge. Life's lessons, from the Quran, are infinite. The more you look into the Quran, and approach it, with a sincere heart, give it your attention, while assuming its magnificence, the more your heart connects with the Almighty. And has the story of Moses reached you? When he saw a fire and said to his family, Stay here. Indeed, I have perceived a fire. Perhaps I can bring you a torch or find at the fire some guidance. The previous were the verses 9 and 10 from chapter 20. They contain many important lessons that I think we can all benefit from. In particular we can focus on 10 important lessons that impact our family life. This does not limit, of course, business and management applications, educational considerations, and other professional dimensions. First, I will begin by listing out the 10 important lessons which we will be focusing on. Then there will be a brief 
Explanation of each lesson. They are as follows. Life lesson number one, family comes first. Life lesson number two, present danger, is better than hidden danger. Life lesson number three, danger to one, is better than exposing to many. Life lesson number four, one person takes the final decision. Life lesson number five, leaders consult and explain their decision-making process. Life lesson number six, speak to all whom your decision impacts. Life lesson number seven, do not promise what is not assured. Life lesson number eight, maximize your benefit from danger. Life lesson number nine, prioritize, prioritize, prioritize. Life lesson number ten, take responsibility. Life lesson number one. Family comes first. Prioritization. Prophet Moses seeks to ensure his family's safety and comfort by asking them to wait for him in the cold darkness of the night. While he departs to investigate the source of the fire at a distance from them. Never compromise your family and lead them into the unknown. Life lesson number two. Present danger is better than hidden danger. Assessing the odds. Prophet Moses knows it is dangerous to leave his family in the dark expanse of the desert in which they were lost. Yet, that is a less danger than walking into a campfire of what could possibly be a group of brigands who would be a source of harm for the family. The known danger is clear and evident, but at least it is predictable. Life lesson number three. Danger to one is better than exposing to many. Risk management. Prophet Moses instinctively decides that the danger faced by him alone is worth the risk of warmth and guidance to safety. Judgment is imperative when a possibility of danger exists. And the less exposure, whether financially, psychologically, spiritually and physically, is better. Life lesson number four. One person takes the final decision. Effective leadership. In trying circumstances, defined, clear and unambiguous directions can be the difference between life and death, health and sickness, safety and tragedy. In all decisions, especially within the household, a unified singular voice needs to provide leadership and direction. Life lesson number five. Leaders consult and explain their decision-making process. Clarity. Prophet Moses explains, in detail, why he has made the decision to investigate the fire and to leave his family behind. It is reasoned rational and explicit. Often, complaints arise about a decision being made without consultation and explanation. That contradicts the established prophetic model. Decisions are not demands, and the authority to make them is not inherent to one party over another except by the virtue of trust. Trust is lost, not by poor decisions, but by poor consultation. Life lesson number six. Speak to all whom your decisions impact. Communication. Prophet Moses spoke to Ali, all his family and people, not just his wife. Taking counsel with your children in important decisions is a way of ensuring reciprocation when they reach and age of decision-making ability for themselves. If you ignore their voices, then expect them to not to share it with you later. Life lesson number seven. Do not promise what is not assured. False assurances. Prophet Moses says, maybe, perhaps, I can bring you, and does not speak in the definitive. Nothing undermines credibility of a parent with their children more than unfulfilled promises. The greatest wedge or barrier between a husband and wife are vows that are not maintained and assurances that are not met. Speak the truth and do not embellish. Life lesson number eight. Maximize your benefit from assumed danger. Leveraging risk. Prophet Moses calculates what he stands to gain. Warmth, light, guidance out of the desert, returning with a flaming brand and more. Always seek maximum benefit 
even from precarious situations, that others, may view as a complete loss. Life Lesson Number 9 Prioritize Ranking Needs Prophet Moses, speaks about warmth, and a flaming brand, to return with, and provide comfort and light for his family. Before he speaks, about finding their way, he understands, the greatest need, and seeks, to fulfill it, before other essentials. Life Lesson Number 10 Taking Responsibility Prophet Moses, says, I, can, to legitimize his decision. He assumes responsibility, for the decision, and intends a positive outcome. Even though, he does not guarantee it. Families, disintegrate, due to a lack of responsibility. Standing up, and assuming leadership, equally necessitates, being responsible when things, go bad. The Quran, alludes to all human experiences, and seeks to enrich, the finite time, we spend on this earth, before returning to our Maker, our Creator, Most High. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was commanded, to follow his predecessors, and take heed, from their trials, while finding inspiration, in their eventual, divinely ordained, triumph. Allah, the Most High, encourages us to look into the final word, the Quran, and take heed of its lessons and parables. And we have certainly diversified in this Quran for the people from every kind of example. But man has ever been, most of anything, prone to dispute. Chapter 18, verse 54 Thank you, for taking the time to listen to this audio article. In the future, as and when, time permits, I will try to make more of these. Peace and blessings, of the most merciful, be upon you, your families and loved ones. May all your sins be forgiven, may your good deeds be accepted, and may...